Hi everyone, this is Emma with Blungo.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create and use team folders in Zoho WorkDrive. Let's get started. In the previous video, we created a regular folder and explored its features. If you'd like to take a look, I've included the link in the description. Here we are in Zoho WorkDrive. Let's click on Team Folders. You can create a new team folder by clicking on this button or by hovering over Team Folders and then clicking on the plus button. Let's name it. Okay, there are two types of team folders. Private, where only the members who have been added can access its files and folders. And public team folder, where anyone on your team can view and join it. In our case, we are going to select public and click on create. Here you will be able to add members to the folder and select their roles. There are five roles. The admin can add or remove members, add, edit, rename, move, and share files and folders while managing team folder settings. Organizers can add new members to a team folder, but cannot assign the admin role to anyone. Editors can view, add, edit, copy, and rename files and folders, but cannot share or move or delete them. Commenters can view, copy, comment on, and download files. Viewers can view, copy, and download files. By default, the creator of a team folder is the admin of that team folder. Okay, let's click here. That's it. We've already created our team folder. To delete the team folder, go to Manage, click on Settings, scroll down, and here you will find the Delete button. Please note that only admins have permission to delete. Here you can change the team folder type and other settings. This is an exciting feature. When enabled, it generates an email address where all attached files sent to that address will be automatically uploaded to the team folder. This means you can forward emails with attachments that have been sent to you, and you don't have to download the files and upload them to the folder. Isn't that great? In the Team Folder Details tab, you can change the name and description and view team folder information. In the Members tab, you can add and manage members. The Trash tab contains recently deleted items. You can also see the activity, shared items, and data templates. Okay, let's close this window because I want to show you some features. This button allows you to sort your files in folder by name, last modification date, or creation time. With this button, it is possible to change the view type. Here, you can select what type of elements you want to see. Click here to access Team Folder Details. Here you can modify the name, description, add members, and access other information. On the New button, there are some options. You can create new folders, documents, spreadsheets, and presentations using the apps included in Zoho WorkDrive. You can also upload files, folders, or import them from the cloud. In Recording, you can record your screen, video, or audio while you are demonstrating something on your computer. The file will be saved on Zoho WorkDrive and you will be able to share it with others. To search for a file or folder within the team folder, hover over Manage and click here. You can also pin the folder to have it appear at the top of the team folders list. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please click on the like button. Also, make sure to check out our online courses linked in the description. We recently launched a Zoho One course where we go over configurations and integrations. Thanks for watching.